I'm going to show you two methods of feathering edges, of blurring the edge of the image. So here I am in Affinity Designer and I got a vector shape and a raster image. For feathering we usually think about raster images, so let's click on that. Let's go with the official method first. To feather the edge of the image we need to select the image, but when I press command and click on the image in the layer panel, it's not selecting it because this is raster image and we are in the default vector persona, designer persona. So let's switch to the next one called pixel persona. And now we can work with pixels. So now I can just press Ctrl or Command and click on the layer. The whole layer is selected. With that I can head to select menu at the top and there will be feather straight away here. Some people also like to first shrink the selection a little bit, so we can make the selection a bit smaller than default one, apply. Alright, and then we can do a proper feather, so again select, feather, and we can apply that. 100 pixels, something like that, apply. Seems like nothing happened just yet, so let's invert the selection, select invert selection, and we can hit delete to delete those feather selection. I can hit multiple times to make it even stronger and I got now three different kind of masks on it because I hit delete three times. Finish this up by deselecting. You can press command D to deselect and here it is. We got soft blurry edge on that raster image using the select feather option. That's not my favorite way to be honest. So let me just undo and show you another way. For the method number two, we can stay in designer persona. We're going to use a vector shape like this one to create a clipping mask with blurry edges. So first I'm going to check that the size is all right. Okay, we can adjust the size easily. Then I will apply the layer effect FX, Gaussian blur. All right. Now I can even shrink this a little bit. Next step will be to now use this blurry rectangle at the top. It can be in any color really. As the clipping mask for the image below. So I can just right click on that blurry rectangle and select mask to below. And here it is, now the image below got blurry soft feather edges and I got a bit better control in that case because it's all still based on that rectangle, take a look. So I can modify the rectangle, I can even modify the blur of it to change how strong this feather effect is. Keep in mind, it's capped at 100 pixels here, but you can override it from keyboard. I can go 150 if I really want. All right, so that's the method number two, when we are using the vector shape with the blur effect on it, and then we clip it all together in Designer Persona. Or if you prefer the classic approach, you can head to Pixel Persona, do the proper selection, and then from the Select menu, there's option to further. I hope this was helpful, see you in the next one.